In this GIMP Beginner's Guide, I'll show you how to recolor part of a photo and keep the features and textures of the original color so that the new color still looks realistic. Now to show you how easily you can do it, I'll change this yellow rose into a pink rose. So I'll delete this pink layer and start again to show you. Now I've already opened the yellow rose and the next thing I want to do is create a new layer. And to do that I'm just going to click on the create a new layer button which is at the bottom of the layer panel. I'll rename it pink. Check that it's going to be a transparency and then click OK. And now I want to select the rows. So I click on the free select tool in the toolbox. And then under tool options, I'm going to click on feather edges and decrease the radius to five. And now I'll just quickly click around the rows to select it. Now to complete the selection, I simply re-click in my very first click point and that starts the marching ants which shows me that the selected area is now active. Now to fill it, I'm going to click on the bucket fill tool in the toolbox and under tool options I click on fill hole selection. And I'll change the colour by clicking on the foreground colour square in the toolbox and it's already in the red palette so I'll simply click on a pink shade and then click OK and then I simply click in the selected area to fill it and now I want to stop the marching ants and deselect the area so I click on select in the menu bar and come down and click on none. Now to enable this pink layer to interact with the layer underneath I need to change its mode. So I go to the layer panel and along the top of it there is the word mode. And at the moment the mode for this layer is normal. To change it, I click on the drop down arrow to the right and I'm going to change it to colour. So I come down and click on colour. And the textures and features of the original colour rose are now showing through in the pink layer. But if you've got any problems or suggestions, please leave a comment.